The Amazing Magical Adventures of Zhu Han in The Little Boy Genie of the Lamp. This story begins unlike any other typical day in her entire normal life that might sound a bit strange as usual. You see, there was an average teenage girl who lives in a town called Dawn Point, which is now a newly modern civilization. She has four friends who've been with her and one half-friend who's being bullied by three mean girls in her school, which was a problem that they sometimes have to deal with. She even has a family, an older brother, a little sister, and of course her parents, who are archaeologists. They first met back in college until they both graduated got married, travel all over the world, working together, and those two have been a couple ever since. When her parents came back home from their latest archaeological trip that afternoon, they brought in some of the most rarest ancient artifacts they found in the Middle East somewhere and took them into the museum for the exhibit based on ancient Arabian culture. Until one fateful night a sinister genius scientist with his mystical talking cat who wanted to get his hands on very powerful magic so he can take over the entire world with a vengeance. Then he sent out a group of unknown thieving crooks as they've broken into the museum and stolen most of the very old priceless objects in the exhibits including the ancient Arabian one that the girl's parents just delivered. That's when one of the stolen items the robbers accidentally dropped and left behind their getaway is a very old brass oil lamp the police had picked up as a clue they've found. So the police gave the lamp to the girl's parents and let them have it. But when the girl and her family were about to head back home, a little dog who's a stray brown English Cocker Spaniel appeared in the middle of the street right in front of them. So they mostly decided to keep her and take the dog with them. Until later that night, after the girl have already gotten her hands on the lamp, she was polishing it clean when suddenly something very strange happened. A magical genie who was a little boy imprisoned inside the lamp. But that's not the only part because their dog that they found 
can actually talk like a human being and those five gnomes outside their house. So the girl asks the genie if he really has the power to grant any wish for whoever holds the lamp that could hopefully help prevent these certain problems. The girl seriously don't know what's going on, so she used the first wish was to seek help from a mysterious woman who's been giving them some information about the, the mythical creatures and magic that's been around on Earth for a very long time. Her second wish from the boy Genie was to give her more wishes from him just in case she need them. Her next wish was to bring all the stolen artifacts back into the museum where they belong as the evil doctor was really angry. And when the girl came back to school the next morning, she met a good looking guy who was a new student. And for the first time in her life, the girl was somehow engaged with him. Like she just can't even handle this sort of pressure that she's unable to shake the feeling off of her. The girl was very shy and completely nervous the way they were staring until they accidentally both bump into each other. But when he found out about the high school dance tonight he begs her on wanting to go with him. And so the girl accepts his offer when all of a sudden the new guy from her school came to her house standing right at her door as he showed up in his fancy tuxedo and offered them a ride to where the dance was taking place. And when they finally arrived to the high school dance in the gymnasium, everyone was having the most enjoyable time of their lives, thanks to the boy Gene. Well, almost everyone. But when the girl returned home from the school dance, things went from better to worse as she was having a very horrible time because someone had broken into her house, ransacked the place, and kidnapped her family leaving behind a ransom note that she found on the floor. Whoever did this were the ones who broke in into the museum and they were going to do something really bad that will harm them unless she give them the lamp. But when the girl was going to the evil doctor and tries to rescue her family, it turns out that she was captured by the evil doctor's support henchmen 
who took the lamp away from her. Then he f threw the girl into the dungeon cell along with her family and locking them all up in there. And from what the girl didn't know, that the boy she's been with was actually the evil doctor's nephew who betrayed her because his insane uncle knew about the girl's family when he witnessed the news that gives him the information he needs. So he used his own nephew as a spy to infiltrate where the girl lives just so the doctor can get his filthy hands on the lamp and way before that the doctor knew the girl's parents back in college until everyone was laughing at him behind his back and left without a trace ever since After the girl and her family had finally escaped, the evil doctor was defeated. The girl got him back the lamp from him, changed everything back the way it was, made everyone forget the whole thing about what was happening, and used the last wish for the little boy genie to be free from out of the lamp as the genie turns back into a grown man again. But the story is not over as the girl's journey continues in a brand new chapter along with her two magical friends where there is more magic, mysteries, monsters, mayhem, and mythical creatures waiting to be discovered and special hidden places where no human mortal has never gone before.